the U.S. Air Force wants to have 100 new long-range stealth bombers by the mid-2020s. The new jet still lacks a name, but has been designated as the B-21. For now, it's only a gleam in an artist's eye and a familiar one, at that. Air Force Secretary Deborah Lee James unveiled an artistic rendering of the next-generation bomber at the Air Warfare Symposium in Orlando, Florida on Friday. Formerly known as the Long Range Strike Bomber, LRSB, the new plane has been designated as the B-21 the first U.S. bomber for the 21st century. Speaking at the event organized by the Air Force Association, James said the futuristic plane still lacks a name, and offered to crowdsource it from U.S. Air Force personnel. So we have an image, we have a designation, but we don't yet have a name, James said, according to Defense News, adding, I'm calling on every airman today, to give us your best suggestions for a name for the B-21, America's newest bomber. The oddly familiar look of the new bomber is no coincidence. It will be built by Northrop Grumman, the same contractor responsible for the B-2 Spirit, the original stealth bomber that entered the U.S. arsenal in 1997. Only 21 Spirits were ever built, however, at a flyaway cost of $737 million apiece, before the program was cancelled in 2000. James herself acknowledged the resemblance. The B-21 has been designed from the beginning based on a set of requirements that allows the use of existing and mature technology, James said, referring to Northrop's pledge to keep the price tag no higher than $550 million apiece in 2010 dollars. In October of 2015, the U.S. Air Force awarded Northrop Grumman the $55 billion contract for engineering, manufacturing, and developing the plane, then still known as the LRSB, to the protests of the Boeing Lockheed Martin Consortium. The Government Accountability Office, GAO, rejected Boeing's official protest earlier this month. On Friday, the consortium announced that it would not pursue the matter further.